Welcome back to FM Story. We're approaching the beginning of season 17 of The Save and The Save is nearing its end. We've currently won the last eight league titles in a row. If we win the league again this season, we'll equal the record which is held by both Rangers and Celtic at nine in a row. If we don't win the league title this season, that'll be the end of The Save. If we do win the league title again this season, we'll play another season to see if we can make a new record at 10 in a row. We've had a fairly busy summer in the transfer market. So without further ado, let's get into the action. Starting with the outgoings, we've we've moved on some players who were a key part of the success over the last the last several seasons. Um, Diego Valari, who we'd brought in as a backup goalkeeper, he goes off to Brighton. Fernando Pascual, who hasn't really ever found himself the number one centre forward at the club, has gone to Athletic Bilbao for an initial fifty million. Andrea Nuevo, who has been a star for us. Um, since we since he joined the club, he goes for thirty eight and a half million, rising to forty nine and a half million. It's starting to get on a bit in age, and it was time to move him on. The one we weren't really sure about in terms of moving on was Andreas Thaler, but when Aston Villa came in with ninety million up front, it was a pretty easy decision to make to let him go. We are also, as well as having moved on Nuevo from the defensive midfield role, we, ha- we are also in the process of moving on Andre Goncalves. He's on his way to uh, Al Ali um, for, a, for a fairly sizable sum of money for someone who was slightly more advanced in age as well. And then in terms of the incomings, there's only been three, um, but I think some some players that can really add some depth to the squad and hopefully see us through to making that 10 in a row. Firstly, we, we signed Dimitris Scafidis, 23-year-old German international from Barcelona. Um, really to play in that defensive midfield role as the replacement for Nuevo or Goncalves. We then, having moved on, Andreas Thaler picked up Benjamin Bustos, um, Argentinian international from River Plate, can play on the right, can play on the left, um, gives us some, some depth really anywhere up behind the front man across that, that sort of front three there. And then we also signed Luciano, another player who can play in that, that defensive midfield role, can play as a number 10 as well if we need him to. Um, it seemed like a good value for money considering the money we'd got in for the players that we let go. So the board's expectation for this season is for us to reach the latter stages of the Champions League, which means we need to at least make the quarter final. Now we got knocked out in the semi-final last season and the two seasons before that we actually won the Champions League. So hopefully we should be able to achieve that. They want us to win the league, they want us to win the Scottish Cup and they don't seem too bothered about the League Cup. As far as the season preview is concerned, we're big, big favourites um, to retain our, our title, make it nine in a row. Uh, we do have... 10 of the Media Dream 11, the only one not uh, of our players that are in there is Klein in the centre of midfield. And, and hopefully we now have a strong enough squad that we can we can carry on dominating the league like we have in the last couple of seasons. But it's now 31st of July, it's time for the league season to get underway and we begin away at Dundee United. So let's see how we get on. This is the side we've picked for the opening day of the season. We are suffering a few injuries. Uh, Reykjavik is out injured. Uh, Jordan Ash is struggling. Cameron Holmes struggling. Luciano struggling. Bustos, who we just signed, is out injured as well. So I think this is the strongest team we've got. And hopefully we can go out and lay a marker down for the season to come. So we're going with the 4 2 3 1 that we've had the last couple of seasons. They're going with that as well. Right, so from the kickoff, Scafidis to Van Giesel into Duffy, Simowesh, 
Thibaut coming forward from left back, flies a low cross in, and their defenders turned it into his own net after 21 seconds, and we couldn't have got a much better start from that. So Simrich just takes it out. Thibaut coming forward on the left, takes a couple of touches and just fires it in low. Defender sticks his foot out and he just drifts in at the far post. Throw in deep in their half. Simrich on to Rackler, back to Cochise, in on his left foot. Forces the keeper to turn it behind for a corner and we've, we've started this season off like we've, we've done in most of the last couple of seasons. Cochise with the corner. A rackless header, turn behind for another one. Cochise again to take it from the left. Goes short to Scafidis, gets the bound, lifts it up to the back post, and Rackler heads well over the top. Right, Cochise with the corner, it's headed up in the air and clear. Tebow to bring it forward, out to Kerr on the left. Tebow to Scafidis. Rackler to Bordes, White and Rani. Looks to go past the fullback, cross to the back post, Duffy with a header, and it clips the top of the net as it goes over. We're really dominating in terms of the chances we created, the possession we've had. We could just do with a few more of them being on target. But having said that, we've had seven shots on target out of nine, so it's not going too badly so far. Right, Simrush with a free kick from distance. Keeper gets across, turns it behind for a corner. From the right-hand side this time, Cochise to take. Goes to the other near post, comes to Scafidis, back to Cochise, and it's out for a throw. And from the throw, Cochise into the box. Simrush back to Cochise. Scafidis onto Rackler. Bordes to Amrani, looking to get to the byline, low cross in, bit of a scramble, Cochise turns it home, we're going to get a VAR check here to see whether there was someone blocking the keeper I think from Cochise's effort, and it has been disallowed. So Amrani goes round the outside, low cross in, Van Kiesel's shot's blocked, Cochise turns it in, and it's been given offside for, for where Van Giesel was. Right, a corner in injury time, Cochise to take it, whips it in towards the box, it comes back out to Cochise, lifts across to the back post, comes down Rackler, and Rackler's effort came crashing back off the woodwork and then scrambled it clear, and there we go, going into half time 1 0 up. We've really dominated this game. The only concerning thing, obviously, is that we've had 10 shots on target and we've only we've only scored one goal and that wasn't one of our shots on target. We need to be a bit more um, decisive in front of goal. We're at least making the keeper work, but we should really be taking more of these chances. So we made one change to start the second half. Simowesh wasn't coming into the game fully fit, so he's come off at half-time. Cameron Holmes come on up front. Other than that, it's the same team that, that dominated that first half. Right, Cochise with the corner. Rackler gets up, flicked headed towards the far post, goes in the back of the net, puts us 2 0 up. And uh, after what was a pretty quiet start to the second half, we've we've doubled our lead. Just gets up and flicks it. Keeper didn't get anywhere near it, no one on the post. And that's 2 0 up. And there we are, full time 2 0. Pretty quiet second half, but. We, we've won pretty comfortably. Dominant performance. Really, it should have been more dominant. I mean, the amount of chances we had, the amount of shots we had on target that we didn't convert. Their keeper obviously had a great game. We've come away with a 2-0 victory and really, opening day of the season, we've got a win. We've stated our ambitions for the season and hopefully we can continue on like we have the last eight seasons and, and win yet another league title. We're now in the middle of um, September. We've got one game left before the international break. And by and large, things have gone outstandingly well. We've had one really, really dismal performance in the Champions League. 
But otherwise, everything's going pretty well. So following on from that win against Dundee United, we hammered Livingston 7-0 at home. We just about made it past Greenock Morton in the second round of the Scottish League Cup. A bizarre game against Ross County. We won 5-3. We were 3-0 up, 4-0 up. Um, they pulled it back to 4-2. We went 5-2 up. They went. They pulled it back to 5-3. But um, luckily that we held on for the for all three points. We then won two 0 at home against Dunfermline. Two late goals from Sim Wesh after he missed a penalty to see us um, get the victory in that game. Uh, a one 0 victory away at Celtic, and then a three 0 victory at Heart. And then the the real poor performance of the season so far, um, hammered by Newcastle. Rackler own goal. Amrani sent off. Sim Wesh missed another penalty. Just everything that could have gone wrong in that game did go wrong. We then bounced back with a 4-2 victory over Aberdeen in the league. We were 4-0 up and they got a couple of late consolation goals. And then in the most recent game, we were home to Bayern Munich and we came away with a 3-1 victory. What it means as far as the league's concerned is we are um, flying so far. We're 7-7. Seven seven. We're 7 points clear at the top of the table ahead of Hibs. Um, Things are going uh, pretty well. I mean, especially when you look at the, the match stats. We've got the top three in the average ratings. We've got joint second top goal scorers. We've got the top three in the assists. Um, things, are, things are going well. And like, actually, if you look at the, the league table, you've got Rangers down in sixth with nine points from seven games. And then you've got Celtic down in 10th with seven points from seven games. Um, they're really not starting the season well. And hopefully, we've we've laid ourselves a platform to, to go on and win the league comfortably again to make it that nine in a row. But next up, we've got a home game in the league against St. Johnston. This is the side we picked for the St. Johnston game. We're almost at full strength. We've gone with Luciano alongside Scafidis in the defensive midfield roles. Bordes is struggling fitness-wise, so he's not being risked. Vargas starting. Um, and Bordes is just getting a rest from the whole from the Manchester squad, and hopefully we're enough to to come away with another three points here. Right, Valem with a goal kick short to Vargas, Varga into Skafidis, Rakla. They're giving him plenty of time on the ball. Into midfield to Luciano turns. Plays it up to Kerr, he takes it down his chest well, turns in field, but gives it away. Scafidis wins it back. Luciano tries to find it through to Simwesh. A poor back pass. Simwesh smashes it home. And a bit of a scrappy goal all round. Both teams giving the ball away. Then with a suicidal back pass, Simwesh turns it home and puts us 1 0 up in under two minutes. It's a strange choice. Of, he was under pressure, but. He's basically passed it right into the stride of Simon Wesh. Keeper was never going to be anywhere near that one. Cochise with the corner. Lifts it up into the middle of the box. And the header just drifts wide of that far post. Right. Amrani infield looking for Reykjavik. It comes down to Skafidis. Back to Varga. Wide to Rakla. Wider still to Tebow. Lifts the ball into the box, looking for Simway. She gets his head on it, and it just drifts wide of that post. Right, Cochise with another corner. This time goes short to Luciano. Back to Cochise. Into the box. And he should be hitting the target from there. And Cochise lifts the free kick to the back post. The keeper misses it. Varga heads it back across into the empty net. 2 0 up, and we are flying here. Just quickly takes it. Keeper tries to get to it. Doesn't get anywhere near it. Then left Varga with a simple header from a tight angle. And then straight from the kickoff, St. Johnston coming forward. Amrani wins it back. Reykjavik as well. Still going. Luciano picks it up into the box to Simoesh. He goes down. And they've cleared it up to the halfway line. Miraculous across to, to tidy everything up. Finds Amrani. 
He plays it up to Cochis, over the top, looking for Simic, nods it down to Rajkovic, it comes back to Simic, and he's got to be hitting the target from there. And from the resulting goal kick, they go long. We've won a header, Rajkovic wins it back, finds Kerr cutting in off the left, over the top, looking for Cochis, first time ball into the box, Simic heads it in, 3-0, and... We seem to be taking a lot more chances in this game than we did. Like certainly, like when you think back to the first day of the season, we had all those shots. Their keeper had a, a worldie and, and frustrated us a bit. But so far in this game, we're, we're a lot better in front of goal. We're taking more of these chances, and that's 3-0 in under half an hour. Cochise with another corner, drives it into the near post. Rackler with a head on it. 4-0 up in just over half an hour. And we are absolutely cruising today. Just drives it into that near post. Rackler gets in there in front of the defenders. In fact, there was three of our players in front of any of their defenders. And it was a simple header in the end. All right, Cochise with another corner. This time floats it into the near post. Rackler again with the header. This time in off the post. And that's 5-0 in less than 40 minutes. Rackler with two. Simowish with two. Varga with the other. And again, just gets up above the defence. No one on the post. And that's 5-0. Luciano with a free kick from distance. The keeper didn't move. It clips the top of the net on its way over. And Cochise with a free kick into the box. Look, Amrani got up there. It looks like we've been given a penalty for handball here. And it's been given. And it's Simowish, she's missed his last two. This time, makes no mistake, drills it into the bottom corner, completes his hat-trick in, in less than 42 minutes. And 6-0 uh, up already. Just drives it into the bottom corner. Even if the keeper got his hands to it, he probably wouldn't have kept it out. And there we go, full time, uh, half time, 6-0 up, and things are just going really well. Um... Couldn't really have asked for much more from this game. There's probably going to be a couple of changes made at half time just to got a couple of players struggling fitness wise and just to give some other players a chance of a run out. So we've made three changes at half time. Reykjavik and Skafidis were struggling a bit fitness wise, so Duffy and Van Giesel have come on for them and we've brought Cameron Home on up top for Simon Wish to give him a rest and give Cameron Home a, a run out. Um, we've started from the kick of Cochise. Into home, back to Cochise. Cross into the box, looking for home. And it just goes wide of the post. Right, they've gone with the long throw. We've won ahead of Cochise, has gone back deep to pick the ball up. Finds Varga, Amrani, infield to Luciano, Cochise, cutting in off the right. Finds Kerr, back to Van Giesel. Over the top, looking for Kerr, takes it down brilliantly. Now he's gone down in the box, and it looks like that might be another penalty. Let's wait and see what VAR says. And VAR agrees with the referee and is given the penalty. It's going to be Stefan Rackle, Rackle, the keeper, the captain, to step up, sends the keeper the wrong way. He completes his hat trick. And that's seven nil in under an hour. Never looked like he was going to miss. Just sent the keeper the wrong way, whipped it into the corner and completes his hat-trick. Right, Valem goes short with a goal kick to Varga. White Amrani and driving down the line into Luciano Cochise into home in the box. He hits the post. They've cleared it as far as Amrani, and then nothing comes of the of it from there. Right, Cochise with another corner into the near post. It's headed up in the air. Kerr smashes a volley. What a goal that is! What a screamer! So Cochise with the corner into the near post. A lot of bodies there. It's headed up in the air. Kerr comes in from the edge of the box. Dropping from the sky, he smashes it on the volley across the keeper and makes it 8 0. 
and then from the resultant kickoff, they've passed it into midfield. They're trying to attack down the left hand side. Cross comes into the box. They got up above T water left back there, but the header off target. Right, they're attacking through the middle of the pitch here. A ball over the top. Ferguson pulls it back into the box. And there's Valem to make a great save to turn it behind and keeps it at 8-0 from the subsequent corner. It's going to be swung in by Williams. And, and Valem's turned it behind again. They're still they're still going forward. Um, we're still defending well. Make sure, try and make sure we keep all this clean sheet. An in-swinger from the right-hand side this time. This time we've got a head on it, and then Varga clears further. And it's going on the line looking for Ash. They've gone back to the centre-half. Now they're trying to pass it out. And now they're breaking with numbers forward here. It goes from distance, comes back off the woodwork. Turnbull brings it clear. There we go. Full time, 8 0. Absolutely destroyed them. And uh, hopefully, the international break that's coming up now isn't going to affect how our form's going. And there we have it. Season 17's begun. Apart from that dismal performance against Newcastle in the Champions League, it could not have gone any better. We've won every other game this season. Coming up in the next episode, we've got some big games. We've got a quarterfinal of the Scottish League Cup against Hibs, who've become our biggest challengers in the league. And hopefully, if we get past them, we'll have a semi-final to come as well. We've got a game against Rangers coming up in the league. We've got Liverpool coming up in the Champions League as well. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.